Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick overview of the Skyler Quintel and ESV Black Goat Skin. So I got my cup of coffee right here, drinking Elemental Coffee out of Oklahoma City. And man, I just wanted to show you guys this Bible. It's super nice. And so this is the black clamshell case. We'll set that aside and here's the Bible. And so guys, this leather is just phenomenal. I mean, it's amazing quality leather. Um, you got the red um, calfskin, I believe it's calfskin liner right here. Really high quality. You got the Jerusalem cross on the front. Um, this one is a really smooth grain. Um, the top right here is a little more pebbly. I think it's all different just based on, you know, each goat skin is unique. Here's the spine. You got the gold embalming of Holy Bible, English Standard Version, and the Schuyler logo. There's three of these amazing red ribbon. I believe these Beresford um, ribbons. And let's just get into this. So one of the first things I noticed was this um, <clears throat> tab right here is pretty stiff out of the box. And so, I mean, when I opened it up to Genesis, I mean, you can see right here, um, I've only had this for a, a couple weeks, but it it's hard um, to stay open right there. And so, I mean, I can turn to probably Genesis, let's see, yeah, by by Exodus, I mean, it's it's holding open, but it is a little stiff. But guys, check out this, this font right here. This is the 11 point Milo. And man, is this readable. I thought at first it might be a little too big, but once you get used to it, I mean, it's actually hard to go back to a small font. It, it feels amazing. It looks amazing. Um, and the size of the Bible is really a good size. It's, it's a full size Bible, um, but it's going to be set at 6.125 inches by 9.125 inches. And it's just a hair under an inch and a half thick. So this is a good full size Bible. Um, I noticed I'm a youth pastor. And so just putting it on an, a modern pulpit today, when you open this thing up, I mean, man, it takes up, I would say three quarters of the area. So if you have notes, if you use an iPad, you could probably get away with it, but using a full size paper next to it on some pulpits, it won't fit. And so it is pretty big, but it's not too big. I mean, you can hold this thing in your hand and read it pretty comfortably. I mean, it, it has a large font and so um, with that, you're going to get a larger Bible. Um, it comes in the personal sized version. And so I'm actually gonna be trading this one for the exact same cover black goat skin in the personal size Quintel. And it's it's about this size right here. You see this one, the second uh, tab right here at the top, it's about that size, um, a little bit smaller. <laughs> But guys, this is a really comfortable reader, um, great preaching Bible, and just dropped it there. And man, I mean, that font looks amazing. It's a 28 GSM paper, which feels pretty good. It doesn't feel too thin to me. I mean, I think you could take some notes in here. And the bleed through, I mean, the ghosting is very minimal. Um, for, for a minute, I had a Cambridge Topaz and I felt like there was more bleed through on the Topaz than here on this Quintel. And so it, of course it depends on the lighting. It might look like there's some bleed through right here, but I can honestly tell you guys, I mean, you get in the sun a little bit and you can see that. I mean, man, look how clean that lettering is and that font. I mean, this Bible is so well crafted and uh, that leather just looks amazing. You can see it's a pretty large Bible, um, but I mean, as far as premium Bibles go, 
I would say Skylar is up there with the very best quality. I mean, I've had the RL Allens. Um, I've had one. I've had um, Cambridge. I've had the um, the Heirloom Crossway. And I would say this is the highest quality Bible I have yet to own. Um, I mean, like I said, super readable font. And this art gilding right here is really interesting. If you guys have had Crossway Heirloom Bible, it the Crossway Heirloom is going to be more gold. And so it's going to be a little bit lighter, maybe more of an orangish color. But this right here is a dark pink. I mean, you can see it's, it's um, gold under pink or pink under gold, however you put it. And man, I mean, it's nice and dark. It looks amazing. And these ribbons are nice and thick, nice and long. I believe they're Red Beresford ribbons. And this is overall a great Bible. I think it's a great reader's Bible, a great preaching Bible, great study Bible. Um, the only thing, the only downside to this Bible may be that the size factor is a little large for taking maybe on the streets, doing evangelism, um, taking to prayer meetings. Um, it It's a little hefty, um, but I see a lot of people carrying study Bibles around that are bigger than this. And so it's really up to you and what you're looking for. This is an amazing Bible. I mean, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Um, absolutely. And so I'll also give you guys just a glimpse of what it looks like in the hand to hold. I, I always wonder that when I'm looking for a Bible. And so this sums up the review and then I'll show you guys what it looks like.